Aside from the efficient tips from our previous video, there are still few things that you should know when raising rabbits. Litter box training. Most rabbit rescues will start the process of litter training the bunnies they take in. So a rescue bunny should have the basics down, but sometimes rabbits forget their good habits once they move into their new home. This is natural because the drastic change in the environment can be very stressful. Litter training can be frustrating at times, but the key is persistence and consistent reinforcement of good habits. Traveling. Rabbits get very stressed out when traveling or when placed in unfamiliar environments, so it's best to have a good pet sitter on hand to watch the bunny if you go on vacation. If you're a big jet setter, with the need or desire to move to various places around the world, rabbit ownership probably isn't right for you. Very few airlines allow rabbits to fly in cabin within the United States and abroad. Oftentimes rabbits are subjected to multi-month long quarantine periods upon arrival into other countries, and in many places, pet rabbits are not permitted in at all. Rabbits health problems. Rabbits are vulnerable to a number of health problems, in particular diseases such as myxomatosis and calicivirus. virus. These diseases are generally fatal for pet rabbits. They have been introduced into Australia to control the wild rabbit population. Unfortunately, pet rabbits are just as susceptible to them. Try to reduce the risk of mosquito bites to your rabbits as mosquitoes can carry myxomatosis from the wild rabbit population to your pet. There is a vaccine for Khaleesi virus. You can have your rabbit vaccinated against this disease every six months by your vet. Rabbits can develop dental problems. It is important that they are constantly chewing on something, either grass, hay, or a gnawing block. Their teeth grow at a rate of 2 to 3 millimeters per week. Overgrown teeth can lead to weight loss, severe pain, and discomfort. If you think your rabbit's teeth are getting too long, talk to your vet about some suitable options for reducing their length and maintaining an appropriate length. Rabbits are susceptible to mite infestations. Symptoms include hair loss and itchiness. Thoroughly clean out and disinfect the hutch. The rabbit should be treated by a vet. Get advice from your local vet about any health issues your rabbit develops. Desexing your rabbit. Many animal welfare shelters are inundated with unwanted pet rabbits, which have been bred by accident. If you do not plan to breed with your rabbit, discuss desexing with your vet. In male rabbits, this is a relatively simple procedure. In female rabbits, it is a more major operation. Desexing can help reduce nesting behavior and improve toilet training. Alternatively, you can separate males and females into different pens. Heat stress in rabbits. Rabbits can suffer from heat stress. Once the temperature rises above 28 degrees Celsius, it is necessary to regularly monitor your rabbits. It is important not to place the hutch in direct sunlight during the warmer months. Keep it in the shade, even on warm to cool days. It does not take long for the heat to build up in small areas. On hot days, it may be necessary to provide a frozen drink bottle or ice brick in the nesting area of the hutch to reduce the temperature. If your hutch is located inside the house and the temperature is likely to get rise above 30 degrees Celsius, you may need to place the hutch in an area where there is a breeze. You could open a window if there is a breeze that will help cool your rabbit. A rabbit suffering from heat stroke may show signs of weakness, incoordination, convulsions and coma. Feeding your rabbit. Rabbits are herbivores and only eat plant material. Their natural diet consists generally of young leaves from plants or bushes, grasses, sometimes the bark from bushes and trees. Rabbits need to eat small amounts frequently. Approximately 30 feeds, of 2 to 8 grams of food, each day is normal. Pet rabbits must be fed a high fiber diet to help maintain their body and teeth health. Rabbits' teeth are constantly growing and need to be continually worn down by eating. Their diet must consist of unlimited access to grass hay or grass. If you are keeping your rabbit inside most of the time, or they do not have access to grass for several hours a day you can use grass hay as an alternative fiber source. Lawn clippings must not be fed as they ferment rapidly and cause digestive upset in your rabbit. Fresh green vegetables such as cabbage, lettuce, broccoli, and celery should be included in their daily diet, approximately 2 cups a day. But fresh green vegetables must not be their only source of food, the fiber content is too low. Rabbits must be provided with a high fiber diet. Rabbits need a tablespoon of commercial rabbit nuggets or pellets once or twice daily. Do not feed your rabbit muesli, this causes dental disease. Rabbits eating muesli also tend to leave the bits they don't like, and this leads to nutrient deficiencies. High fat and high sugar foods such as carrots, other root vegetables, and fruits should only be fed in small amounts. You can use these types of foods as environmental enrichment. There are many toxic food and plants for rabbits that you should avoid feeding your rabbit or growing in your garden. Rabbits need exercise in the room for it. 
A solid 4 hours of exercise a day for rabbits basically means that leaving them cooped up in a cage all day isn't the best idea. Exercise for rabbits, like for humans, helps with overall health, including digestion, and mental health, and why wouldn't you want a happy rabbit? If you have space, a whole room just for your rabbit is probably a great idea, as it gives them plenty of room to run to and fro. If you don't have space, then the cage or container holding your rabbit needs to be five times the size of the rabbit at minimum, according to the HSUS, and this includes on a vertical level so the rabbit can stand up on its hind legs without bumping its head. Multi-tiered containers are also recommended. The rabbit's area will need to be spruced up every day and cleaned once a week. Caring for your pet rabbit. Rabbits make great pets. In general, rabbits need appropriate housing, exercise, socialization, and a specific diet for good welfare. Some breeds of rabbits, particularly the longer-haired rabbits, may require daily grooming. It is important that you understand all the requirements for caring for a rabbit before you buy one. Empty your rabbit's litter box every two to four days. This will not only reduce the risk of unpleasant odors, but it will also keep your rabbit healthy and happy. If you are just starting out training your rabbit to use a litter box, you should be able to tell which corner your rabbit goes in to relieve itself. If you put some newspaper or a litter box down there, your rabbit will quickly learn to use the box. You may want to scoop out urine-soaked litter on a daily basis to keep your rabbit clean and keep the litter box smelling fresh. Rabbits generally live for 5 to 8 years depending on their environment and breed, but they can live for as long as 12 years. If you decide to purchase a rabbit, make sure you are prepared to care for them that long. Rabbits require unique medical care. Like with any pets, you need to be aware of your rabbit's overall well-being, but rabbits have their own needs. As such, rabbits also have their own specialized vets, according to PETA, and they can be more expensive than your run-of-the-mill veterinarian. The RSPCA recommends annual vet visits to check their teeth, to test for parasites, and get vaccinations. Rabbits keep their own time. Rabbits are crepuscular, which means they typically sleep during the day and the night. So when are they awake? Dusk and dawn. While this is great for evening cuddles on the sofa, it may not be the best thing while you're trying to sleep, especially if they have free run of the house, like this guy. Rabbits and other pets. Rabbits can make a wonderful addition to your family. If you have other pets it is important you consider the impact of your rabbit on them and them on your rabbit. Dogs and cats can have a natural instinct to hunt and kill rabbits. If you are introducing rabbits to a home that already has dogs and cats, your rabbit must be safe from other pets at all times. Barking dogs can also cause your rabbit stress. If your dog barks at your rabbit, ensure the hutch or run is not accessible to your dog when you are not there to supervise. If your rabbit gets along well with your other pets, that is fantastic. Your rabbit will have another companion when you are unable to be with it. But always keep your rabbit safe. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.